What's going on guys, it's your boy The Boxing Lowdown and I'm back here with another video. Now as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Feel free to drop a comment if you like and I'll happily get back to you. Now, what's going on with the super middleweight division? Let's speak about that. Now, we know that Canelo is the undisputed champion at 168 pounds. It's looking like that his next fight, however, will be up at cruiserweight against Makabu. We're still waiting on confirmation of that. But those are the strong rumours. You know, it's not a secret. It's pretty well known that that's what he's planning to do. And uh, yeah, if Canelo does do that, then what happens with the rest of the super middleweight division? Because like I said, he's the undisputed champion there. He holds all the belts. And technically, if he is able to fluctuate the weights like he's doing, then that kind of puts the division on hold. You know what I mean? You've got some guys down there that are looking to challenge for the titles, particularly David Benavidez, who I read in a boxing scene interview that, you know, he's saying to Canelo, if you're not fighting me, then just start giving up them belts. Do you know what I mean? And uh, I get it because he's going to want to reclaim another world title at super middleweight. He's definitely one of the best in the division. And uh, yeah, Benavidez, man, I think he's a great fighter and I think he would give Canelo a great test as well. I'm not saying that he'd beat him, but I'm saying that that's a good fight. Um, what happens next? Caleb Plant, obviously he put in that, um, he put in a good performance against Canelo, obviously didn't get the victory, but he's going to want to reclaim a world title again. Do you know what I mean? So it's all good Canelo moving up the weights and doing what he wants, but you've got guys at 168 pounds that are going to want to get their hands on them belts. And if Canelo is not going to fight them, then he may have to vacate. I mean, it's very rare that an undisputed champion holds on to the belts for too long, even when they stay in the division. Do you know what I mean? There's too many mandatories to fulfill, too many obligations and so on. But with Canelo, we know that he is the cash cow. He can do what he wants. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't need these belts and he is really in a position of power. If he wants to fight anyone, he can do it. He has that kind of status right now in boxing and we just have to respect it. Do you know what I mean? And, um, what does that say for the rest of the division? Will Canelo give up them belts and let Benavidez fight for them? Will he fight Benavidez himself? Like I said, we still don't have no confirmation on the Maccabi fight, but Benavidez, I saw in the interview on Boxing Scene, he said, if Canelo ain't going to fight him, then he needs to give up them belts and let me fight for them. So it'll be interesting to see how that develops. We know that Canelo tends to fight in the Mexican holidays. Uh, there's a Cinco de Mayo weekend. I mean, that's in uh, May, isn't it? And then you've got one in September. So it'll be interesting to see. I mean, let's see what he does. But looking back at the super middleweight division, man, um, Caleb Plant, who put in a good effort against Canelo Alvarez, ultimately losing, though, by knockout. He's called out Jamal Charlo. I saw it on his social media yesterday. And you know what? I sensed there was a bit of tension between these two because on the All Access, where, Canelo, uh, where Caleb Plant was fighting Canelo, him and Charlo ran into each other in the hallway. And Charlo was basically saying that, you know, I I'm good luck for the fight. You know what I mean? I'm rooting for you. And Caleb Plant was almost like, yeah, yeah, yeah. After I beat Canelo, I want you. So there was no love lost there really from Caleb Plant's end. And then obviously yesterday, he's gone on his social media to call out Charlo. So listen, I like that fight. Charlo is technically still a middleweight right now. But, you know, there are rumors that he might move up in weight. So yeah, let's, let's get this division moving on, man. Let's see what actually happens. If Canelo is going to move up to fight Makabu and then, you know, maybe move to fight some of the light heavyweights, then he's going to have to give up some of them belts, man. Hopefully, the sanctioning bodies will be strong enough to, you know, relieve Canelo of them belts if he's not going to stay in that division. Let's see what happens. But yeah, I like that fight between Plant and Charlo. Charlo, of course, will have to move up. Let's see if he does that. He's been teasing it for a while. And uh, yeah, man, I mean, we've got a super middleweight showdown with Danny Jacobs and John Ryder. So yeah, I'm kind of like how the division's panning out. I want to know who will be the number one when the dust settles. You have to look at Benavidez right now for me. Uh, Caleb Plant put in a good effort, but I think Benavidez is the number one uh, outside of Canelo. But let's see. I mean, these guys have to fight each other for, for it to be proven. So um, yeah, just my thoughts on it all. I want to hear yours in the comment section below. And um, I'm glad that, like, do you know what I mean, Benavides is, is coming out and saying this because at the end of the day, we know that Canelo is the cash cow, but don't allow, don't sit around and wait for this fight. Do you know what I mean? There are other fights to be made out there. Don't allow your career to be held up on what another man is doing. We've seen that in the past so many times. Um, I could give you the example of Amir Khan when he was chasing Floyd Mayweather for so long, literally put his career on hold to chase Floyd. And uh, you could say Kell Brook as well. <laughs> who was chasing Amir Khan and Amir Khan basically gave him the run around he lost out on numerous fights Kelbrook did chasing Amir Khan he's got Amir Khan now 
but obviously they're both out of their primes. But yeah, just um, just don't chase a guy. Do your thing, man, and then the good the big fights will come to you. If you're good enough, you'll win them. And uh, of course, you want the big money fight. Of course, you want to secure your future. But if the guy is doing what he wants and he's not really giving you a look in, then build your own future. Do you know what I mean? Just my thoughts on it. Let me know yours in the comment section below, guys, and I'll catch you on the next video.